Okay, so this is outside. Uh, it's very late. I'm filming this with a phone. Uh, proper quality video will follow in the next days. Film with a real camera. Uh, I'm also a little bit drunk right now. So bear with me. Uh, I will light now the R50 seeker from Olight. Uh, yep, that's on. This is on turbo. Two thousand three hundred lumens. So this is the yard. Okay. Uh, really don't have a way to hold both flashlights so okay I'll turn this off and just turn the switch on this is on the higher level the um, I mean the, the fan just turn the fan on it's on the higher level it's not noisy it's, it's quite okay I, I was expecting a much higher noise uh, now let's turn on the flashlight uh, let me see so this is on on the lowest mode 3000 lumens. Okay, this is 8000, 25000, already insane amount of flashlight. So, this is insane amount of light. Sorry, a bit tipsy. And now let's try uh, off, on, and now let's try turbo. Yeah, it's 60,000 lumens. I don't want to hold this very much because it's pretty late and I don't want to wake the neighbors. Okay, let's. I'm gonna also power up. My uh, headlamp, which is uh, the Olight H2R Nova, great headlamp, very useful. Uh, I'm gonna exit, exit the yard now. Okay. As you can see, there is already light from the light pole here. And this is the light from the headlamp. I will also turn on the R50 seeker on turbo. Pretty decent light. Okay. Yeah, very dirty neighborhood. This is gonna change in the next months. New owner. Okay. Let's put that away. Remember the headlamp is still on. And let's light up a bit the street. There's a car out there okay so 3000 lumens on x70 8000 25000 and 60000 lumens it's daylight again i don't wanna really i don't wanna keep this very much because 
it will wake up the neighbors. I promise I will come back to the end of the week with a proper video. I'm planning a, a standoff between Manker MK35 and this Ace Beam X70. So again, quick 3,000, 8, 25,000, 65,000 moments. Insane. and 65 this is the problem with the I always thought producer should address it with a very powerful flashlight there's a lot of reflected light from the spill from close proximity for example from this white fence and uh, you cannot see on this video but on turbo the car out there is lit but because of the reflected light from the near surroundings which saturates uh, the camera and, and our our eyes our retina we cannot see very well in the distance so that's the major problem of very powerful flashlights light reflected from the ground and nearby objects Another quick shot. Again, uh, the phone camera really cannot cannot uh, film this, but it is really bright, and always illuminated in the distance. That's it for now. Thank you. Bye bye.